Morning everyone. Uh, it's Monday, first first full week back uh, after the bank holiday spree. Team's uh, off this morning. Just me, solo again. So, as in solo sh fashion, so I've got two wages to make, just my own. I'll do a bit of recording I think. I've got my GoPro but I don't know if I formatted the cards. So I'm going to mess around with that on the scaffold. I've only got 12 closer brickwork to run in, like 500 brick to run in, that's about it. A little corner to build and then some cavities to tap and clean some air bricks. And that is it. I've cleaned the trays on one side. I feel like I take some bricks out of a, of a, some meter box trays and that is about it. There is not anything else I can do basically. I can maybe put some block work up on that gable. That is about it. I'm waiting for another scaffold, the other side of scaffold to be released. Or be put up, whatever. So yeah. Sometimes being flexible and sometimes not always having everyone in every day is a bit of a lifesaver because I didn't have enough I didn't have enough work to pay everyone today basically uh, or effectively everyone does get paid I just earn nothing so is what it is so anyway right I'll see you at work so it's Monday morning everyone and. Uh, yeah, they've scaffolded the other side of this plot, thank god. Eat me words from this morning. Uh, but this is what we're on with. Did this on uh, Friday and uh, tiled that corner free on this bit of corner already up, but it were uh, just it needed a bit of straightening up. So, you know, we've just got I'm building this sort of free just with profile, we line on. Uh, it's always hard when you're taking over someone else's work. Um, I think other side's alright. Might need a couple of cores taking off, that's about it really. I'm always, I'm fucking uh, I'm paranoid to be honest after I got pulled up last job about bellying. I'm paranoid as fuck, so. Right, I'm waiting for Gobbo to become usable, so I'm going to saw some cleaned old top trays uh, for inspection on this plot. I'm just going to clean the air bricks now and uh, tap some tyres before I go on. And uh, yeah, just waiting for this, you know, this is ready mix for you. Well, we'll wait, see in a bit. So we're under the scaffold here waiting for the gobo to dry. And the easiest way to clean an air brick out uh, of the top of an air brick is leave two out, not one. So check it out. With clay bricks, it's a lot easier. Connie bricks, not so much. But that, that brick's loose and it ain't enough. That's not enough to get your gobo out. You need them two bricks out. So I'll show you how to come out now. There you go, brute force, a few minutes, probably best way to get them out. Well, that's about it. It's the only way to get them out, really, unless you leave them out when you build it. Oh, yeah, right. See you in a bit. So, uh, that was today. Uh, I only had a tub and a half of gobo, so I just ran that gable in and got set up for tomorrow. Uh, the GoPro wasn't charged, so I'm going to charge it now. And I'll see you on Tuesday. See you tomorrow. I think it's medicam, promise. Right, see you in the next clip. So guys, Tuesday morning. Cat's howling at me. Uh, yeah, he had milk. Cat had milk. Young and had milk. So I've had about two hours sleep. Maybe three, maybe three. So, yeah, never have four cats. Just fucking don't have them. I'd rather have got a spring spaniel. It's been easier. But yeah, um... Me and Dean are in today. We're at a new job tomorrow. So Paul won't gonna come in and he had no to load up basically. It's already he already loaded out on Friday. 
and I had a little wander around and see what we've got. We've got about two tubs of gobbo. Um, so we've only got two tubs, so we might be done in good time, hopefully. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I got set up last night. Uh, I didn't show you guys the profile set up, but I'll show you when I get there. I've got my GoPro and that all linked to my phone and that now, so should have some good crystal clear clear quality, you know. Anyway, see you on the job. Probably. <laughs> yeah, they're a, they're a bit of a nightmare these ones to be honest. Yeah. I don't know why, we just seem harder to lay them than they didn't. I don't know. They are a bit hard. They're harder and they're not harder if you get my meaning. They're like more varied inside. Well, this gobbo is good, fucking one day out of five. Bed, don't it? Fuck you, fuck all. You pick and dip in with like next to no fucking gobble on it. I know, I'm saying. I think we'll fucking lay a thousand brick with two tub because you need that little amount of gobble on the come. Yeah. <sighs> 
so I don't know if anyone can hear me, but we've got drain pipe in, fire sock goes up there with some damp on it. Um, but we're going to put that in when we get to the next lot of ties. Um, take, the fa take the drain pipe up every six course and rest them on this set of ties, then that set of ties. This is a plot we took over, we've only been on it a day and a half so far. Um, the block work was basically off, we've done all the brick. Um, but uh, we're just done here for today, so this is his last day on, his, on this job. Uh, we'll have to do, build some social houses on the other site. Um, but yeah.
so yeah, it didn't turn out to be a bust after all. Um, we got an extra tub, so we got three tubs. Bottom fucking four inch of it's basically crust. So well, yeah, check out what we've gotten on so far. Probably roughly 1100 brick today once we're finished, maybe a bit more, maybe 1200, but uh, yeah, check out what we've set up. So we did that back up to the sill, soldiers in, all windows are set. Back to big corner up, um, mimic base at the other side. And then we've run this round here. I, I've knocked about four cores of block in, uh, put four cores in. It's a bit of a faff with that damp pond to be honest. Um, we did it another way on another job, but yeah, it's uh, and we're running round there. Dean's just tailed that eight wheel line. Um, and we're just going to run this in. We've got one, we've got six black tubs of gobbo, a few buckets on the floor. And we get some head cam for the remainder of the day before it smashes it out. Look at that black bastard. Right, see you in a bit. Up. Oh, you struggle to have the waters here anyway. Have you put, oh you haven't put fucking line up. Sorry mate. I wonder why I was fucking laying them and they weren't going to line. That, that line's up in it.
It's always what hurts me on my fucking hand there, yeah, on that fucking end of me, end of me trowel. Yeah. But yeah, that digs into that part oh, of my yeah. hand. It's because yours is fucking plastic in it. It's gone rough like you've been twatting brick on it. Yeah. It's a rough cunt. You are a rough cunt. Incel gobble. Incel. Incel. Line up. Line tuppence. You ain't got no big. Brick in your tub. What you all going to do with it? The gobbins. Check one of those. Check. Well, oh, tub's empty. Tub's empty. Yeah, well, it's got a little bit of shite, really. Just take some out of one of. Yeah, take some out of one of these, or just take one off. Is it crap? Pure shit. Hey guys, welcome to the voiceover part of the video. Um, I know a lot of you guys will be just tuning in for this part. Uh, I'm going to do more voiceovers soon. I'm just going to do some old style head cam voiceover videos like uh, what a lot of people like. A lot of people do like those. Um, still using the bucket trowel cut down. You know, I'll do a little bit of a tutorial once I've cut down a few of them. You can use a Ragni bucket trowel, an Ox bucket trowel, a Marshall bucket trowel. They're all different types of steels. And they're pretty much all solid forged from what I can gather. Uh, and they cut bricks pretty well depending on what brick you're using. Uh, better than a tile setter at least. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to get a Marshall one soon. Um, I don't think they're too expensive. But, you know, a lot of people see what I'm using uh, with the tubs and say, you know... A lot, not there's not a lot of support for the tubs at the moment. A lot of people don't like working out of them, but it, they do have a lot of pros. You know, um, you know it is changing the way. You know, you've just got to change the way you think about brick laying. And uh, you know, I'm not saying boards are bad. Boards are fucking fantastic if you've got nice gear, um, cool weather, um, a good labourer filling you up constantly. Boards are fantastic, but you know the application and the volume the tubs can hold uh, they sort of ease up the maintenance for your labor on keeping the gear going and um, they, they're easy it's easier to knock up in the tubs you know your labor just chucks a little bit of water on and there you go it sort of you give it a couple of whirls with your trowel and it's all mixed in whereas on a board you've got to make a little uh, you know a little divot in your mud and all your mortar and then make sure the water doesn't spill off the board and then splash everywhere all over your bricks you know um that's one thing I've noticed with the tubs, you know, you keep your bricks a lot cleaner, the wastage is probably down to a minimum, and uh, especially with ready mix, you can sort of, especially in winter, in cooler weather as well, you can preload your tubs and leave them, you know, so if you say your hod carrier wants to go for his snap or wants to go have a cig or whatever he's doing, you know, you can preload all your gear and leave it on a flank and say, right, you set up for about, you know, best part of an hour there or best part of half an hour there or whatever, however he's going to go for his snap. There's a lot of pros to them, and people aren't seeing the you know the benefit of tubs. They're not seeing it, um, but then again, there is a massive generation of bricklayers who don't have labourers. Uh, it's starting to come back in now. People are realising that you know having an odd carrier is invaluable with you know when you organise, especially an organised gang. Um, you know, I thought Dean was a you know a decent labourer. Paul is on another level, but he's, you know, he's a seasoned, he's got, you know, 30 years odd carrying experience, basically. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, 
Chubbs will maybe catch on soon, mate, might not, but I'm still going to be using them. Uh, and when it comes to this new competition as well, it's coming, uh, you know, the new uh, Brit Lane competition that's coming out, the Super Trial, it's like the UK's version of the Spec Mix. I'm going to watch it this year, I don't know if they're live streaming it or I know the, there's tickets and stuff like that. If they do it right, it could really catch on, um, you know, like a live stream or a paid pay-per-view sort of thing, if they, you know... If they had like a live streaming setup, it's not it's not hard to do, but you know, is we're dealing with we're Brit lazy, not fucking, you know, seasoned, you know, event like it's, you know, boxing promoters or it's not like a it's not on the same level, it's just a Brit lane event. So hopefully they can get some good coverage and hopefully it'll attract some attention and, you know, there'll be some support with it. Um, you know, support your favourite create your favourite, you know, online Brit layer. Um, I know Ash Mahoney yeah, Collison, a few other guys are doing it. Um, we'll see. You know, there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, the the entering it costs about three hundred and fifty quid. So that is a bit of a, uh, you know, it'll put a lot of people off. And it's on a Thursday, so hopefully next year they can get it for a weekend. Sort of, it won't alienate tons and tons of people because obviously people have got to work. Cost of living crisis at the moment um, is fucking real. It's real. You know, price things are going up. Prices are brickly, you know, the prices on site are dropping. You know, it's hard work. It's hard at the moment. It's hard for us brickies. Them at the NHBC want blood. It's fucking, you know, it's hardcore at the moment. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks all for watching. I'll see you at the end of the video. So, yeah, uh, for a little count up. I think we did like 1200 brick, I think, today. Um, check it out. We're going now. We're a bit late. We're going another job tomorrow. So, I'll to count up and whatnot. That's what we did today. It's back, that big corner, this gable, and then uh, just a little bit round here, and then uh, and a few across the block down there, right, in the bizzles. Hey guys, uh, God, my hair looks weird as fuck. So that was this week, well... Uh, half a week, I suppose, two days. That was a video from two days. Um, we're not on that job anymore. We're on another job now. And uh, I'm still doing... Um, you know, I've, I've got back into the vlogs a little bit now. You know, this the last video I put up got about 10k views. And then hopefully this one will um, do pretty well as well. And I think um, with how we've got it set up... Um, with the three of us now, uh, I've got a lot, a lot more time to sort of make, show you how we do things and stuff. Uh, I can get like a lot more done in a day for a video, and it's easier for me, you guys, to get the picture in a shorter 30 minute, 40 minute video um, than me doing these sort of weekly recaps, you know, solo sort of thing. Sometimes when I'm, you know, when I record, because that's the most of the time, it's either just me and Dean or. But um, I've got the pho the GoPro set up on my phone now, as you saw at the beginning of the head cam. And um, I'm going to get a little selfie stick in the next couple of weeks and start filming some runs and stuff using the GoPro, maybe a body cam, or I, I don't know yet how I'm going to do it, or a selfie stick. So I'm just experimenting a little bit more. I've got everything working again. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a tough time at the moment for us brickies. It's a tough time, you know. It's a lot of guys out of work still, you know, we're, we're moving jobs seemingly every few every couple of months, few months, where the work is and that. It's built toward a sort of thing at the moment. I know there's a lot of guys in the footing, smashing footings in before some regs change. Um, you know, I've heard, uh, if you haven't watched my, you know, my lifestyle, my running sort of garage vlog, tool vlogs, um, workout so sort of gig I do on here as well. They're my, they're named Garage Vlogs. Um, you know, watch out for the Super Trial that's coming up. I've not entered it um, this year. You know, this year it hasn't fallen on a good date. But um, in future, in the next year, hopefully I'm, I'll be able to enter something like that. And I'm still experimenting with ways of laying. I'm still experimenting with the tubs. The trowel sizes because I do get a lot of tendonitis pain in this bicep, you know, both biceps really, you know, the brick arm and the, you know, and I've historically had a lot of tendonitis pain there. Um, 
so I'm experimenting. I know a lot of people are using nine inch trowels now. Um, it's more popular. Everyone seems to use a nine inch now. So I'm going to be experimenting with boards, maybe plastic boards and stuff again. I don't like using boards for a lot of the gear. It'll just go off quicker. At the end of the day, it will. Um, it's more more part of the gear is exposed, mounted up on a board. That's why. Um, it's the only reason why, especially in the in the summer. So you probably see me using tubs on site in summer, but. When winter comes back around again, I'll maybe get some plastic boards out. We'll go back to plastic boards for a little while, maybe. Um, but I'll see what the effect is on the wrist. Um, I'll still be using bins and whatnot. I'll still be using my bins, but we'll see next year. You know, I'll be in a financially better place. You know, this year I've gone from from a year ago I had one car. Now I've got two cars. So you know, maybe next year I'll be able to up my tool game a little bit, up my gear game, and. Um, yeah, everything should, uh, everything's going well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.